we are hoping that the chief of police and other public officials and representatives will be more transparent and more forthcoming in the days ahead and find a balance between public safety as well as protecting the integrity of these investigations. We are privy some information, no. both myself personally and my team of investigators, that we cannot share with the public. Okay. Don't do those dishes. She's gonna do them. Huh? Well, the one you're doing, but homicides that have transpired that appear to be very much related. This is not only a concern for residents of Stockton, but should also be a concern for those who live in surrounding areas. Again, there is information that we are privy to that we will not share, but I am telling you personally. And I'm telling the people that I care about to be aware of your surroundings at night. Try to avoid going out, especially by yourself, late at night, as the majority of these victims appear to have been killed during the hours of midnight and 4 to 5 a.m. This is something that we take very serious and we recommend you should too <laughs> as a public. I was, I was uh, laughing at a expecting transparency from LE. Yeah, right. Keep yourself and your family safe, and we will provide more information as we are able to in the coming days. Thank you and stay safe. Um, this is just a small clip too. I mean, this is only one minute long, but 209 Times posted this, and this is just a clip from the, uh, is this the yeah, Chief McFadden. And they confirm this serial killer. After the crime that has even captured a handgun in someone's hand. So, um, by definition, you could probably very well call this a serial killer, right? But um, at this time, we don't know if it's a person, two or three. We just don't know. Do we have another question? No, we don't. These are serial killings, but are you calling the suspect? suspect